hello guys welcome back to the civil 3d tutorial on this one we're going to see how to um, import drawing objects into a civil 3d drawing so when you say drawing objects so these are the objects uh, that's all primitive autocad uh, entities that you can add into your tin model so the way it works is um, once you have your tin models in place on the tool space you can expand your surface expand your definition and then you got an option that says drawing objects so in the drawing objects you get selected and then you can click on right click and then click on add and there is a different types of objects that you can add so these points remember is not your Kogo civil 3d point uh, you know by default your AutoCAD point is different from a Kogo point typically your AutoCAD points saves XYZ values and that's that's all the values that it actually saves into the entity whereas your Kogo point saves your raw description your full description and um, your XYZ values and point name so it saves quite a lot of information compared to your regular uh, AutoCAD point so another option that you can also do is you can convert your regular points into Kogo point which I would show I think I've already uh, added another video where you can check those uh, videos on how to convert a regular point into a uh, Kogo point uh, if not let me know guys and uh, so you can pick uh, points and then um, uh, once you click on OK it just gives you the cursor where you can go and pick the points that you want to select and then uh, press enter it actually adds the points into the surface okay so similarly if you want to add uh, other objects you can click on uh, add and then object types you can see lines so these lines are not your poly lines so these ones are uh, your regular lines you know in AutoCAD we have two types of lines a regular line and a poly line so these ones are regular lines and blocks if you have AutoCAD blocks you can add it and uh, just be a bit wary there is different types of blocks that's also available in civil 3d we got something called mv blocks multi view blocks uh, i will be adding another separate video on how to create a multi view block and then um, a text uh, you can also add a m text in a single line text and then 3d faces uh, so these faces are uh, faces that's been extracted from 3d objects that you can also add and poly faces so these are the different objects that you can add and um, so when you bring data from different software such as 12d for an example if you bring a tin model um, uh, from 12d you will get possibly uh, 3d faces uh, so you can import into your civil 3d and uh, once you're within civil 3d you can use this option to add the 3d faces into your surface okay